Hello Ella! Today I'm going to be showing you how I made your elephant shield live on Twitch.tv. Links are in the description. I started with the pattern. I folded a large piece of paper in half and drew on the shape and details where I wanted them. Then I cut it out with a pair of scissors. Once cut out, I used a ruler to measure equal planks. I labeled each plank to make sure I connected them back together properly. Then I cut them out. Then I pinned the pieces to thick foam and cut them out using an X-Acto. Now that I was done with this part of the pattern, I stuck it back together with tape. Then I cut out the details that would lie on top of the shield. Those two were pinned to a thinner foam, traced, and cut out. The next step was to use my rotary tool to rough up the edges of the boards to accentuate their separations. I even carved in wood grain to add detail. Next, I applied heat to each piece so they would lie flat and not warp when I connect them. Then I lined up each plank again. I applied contact cement very carefully to the edges. Then I was careful to connect each piece as perfectly aligned as possible. Once connected, I pinned each detail piece to the shield and outlined it with a sharpie to ensure I wouldn't put glue where I didn't need it. This also helps to align my details later on. You can also add extra registration marks to be sure. Then I was ready to apply the adhesive and connect it all. Next was to apply smaller details like rivets. For this I used large googly eyes from the dollar store. This is a common technique used by cosplayers. I also made a pattern for the bracket that would help support the back of the shield. I traced it onto craft foam and cut it out. Then I used a glue gun to connect it to the back. This is only decorative and doesn't actually offer support to the back of the planks. Now the shield was ready to be primed. I used Plasti Dip in the spray tent outside. I also base coated the border in silver spray paint. I painted brown in the spots I wanted the fake wood to show through with acrylic paint. Then I mixed a really dark blue and painted it on leaving the brown spots for last. I was careful not to hook the silver paint. I lightly dry brushed the blue over the brown leaving some of it show through. Sorry for not recording this part properly, so please ignore the layout. I mixed a cyan with white to make it more opaque and painted all the lines by hand including the elephant. Then I shaded the lines with black oil paint to dull them down and give them more depth. I also shaded the elephant and the cracks to give it more definition. This isn't your shield, but I also shaded all the silver parts in the same way and dirtied it up a bit to give it character. Once dry, you can apply an acrylic lacquer you'll find in the automotive departments. I wish you the best of luck on all your future builds, and I look forward to seeing you in the junior division. And as always, I thank you so much for watching, and until next time.